Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for joining me on another exciting episode of Agribusiness Weekend. I'm Joy Laboran. Before I go on the show, please, 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 you see that red button over there? Subscribe. Please subscribe so you'll be first to get notifications on the Agribusiness Weekend. But first, welcome to the show. Snail farming and processing is one of the lucrative business ideas for young entrepreneurs. But this business is yet to be fully explored in Nigeria and Africa at large. Today I have on set with me the CEO of Omodu Farms, Omodu Mola. Thank you very much for joining me on set. Thank you very much, Joy. You look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> Right. Let's talk about snail farming. You know, I I I, I checked, I followed you on your social media handles, and I discovered that you are into so many things. But um, today we are going to be basically basing on the snail farming aspect. Yes. Now, snail farming. What does it take to start the business? Um, okay. I would start by saying when people say snail farming is not capital intensive. Yeah. It's um. It's a lie. It is. That, yes. that It's very expensive. One thing I know about that. Especially when you're doing commercial. And in commercial, I'm saying from 5,000. Wow. Because if you chunk out 2,500 snails in a week, yeah. that is commercial. Yeah. And in a month, you're chunking out 10,000. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so you have to put the buffer structure yes. in place. So it's expensive. I would say that. Okay. Yes. So it's expensive to start. It is expensive to start commercial. Now, relating to how you started. Yes. So what are these steps to to for the entrepreneurs to follow to start the business? Okay. The first thing I would tell people is learn, train. Don't say because I'm not doing is doing it and it looks simple. Okay. It's not simple. It looks enticing. Yes. It's it's not. The first thing is learn. Do your training. Do extensive research. There's a lot of nonsense on Instagram, okay. on Google, yeah. and all. But learn from experienced farmers and start small. Because I would say, from my own experience, when I started, I started with the semi-intensive, okay. which is um, which is I used to have a plot. Okay. I did my floor flooring and all that, and I just jumped in five thousand. Wow. Yes. I'm saying it. I made a mistake. Wow. I didn't start in my backyard. I didn't do soil test. I didn't do classification. I didn't do anything. I just felt it was that thing that our moms will say, go and pick frog and take care of frog mm -hmm. or snails, you know. I didn't do all that. Then two days after, my snails started to die. Wow. Yes. And before you knew it, there was nothing. That was where my own problem started. And I can categorically say that semi-intensive is not the way to go. So after that, we started building the intensive units gradually. So does that mean that there is a structure for, just yes. like you want to do an ultra farm? Yes. So there is a structure for snail farming? Yes. Wow. A structure. You can't just put your snails on the bare floor. Wow. So your ants will come. There are parasites in the soil. So you need to do a concrete flooring. When I say concrete, cement, gravel, very solid because these snails also they feed on the the flooring. Okay. So it needs to be very concrete. Then you need to raise up your structures, mm -hmm. protect it okay. with um what they call it um, mosquito nets, galvanized. Wow. Yes. So like building a house. It's like snail. building a house. Then you need to shave it. You see that shave in there? That's all fair. That is what you want to do. Aside the breeding stock. Like the, the structure I put in place right now to spend over two million. Wow. On just, just roofing. Roofing you. We're not talking about the boxes and the soil and the soil classification and everything. 
So putting a structure in place is nice. So when I see a lot of people going into farming, I always ask, are you the farmer or you are selling? Because I need to understand. Yeah. Yes, and they'll say, oh, mono, sometimes your prices are so so I need to get my cost. I need mm-hmm. to get everything back for what I'm selling. But if you're going to the bush and you're picking, no, okay, like you said, it's 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 capital intensive to That's start. But but that will not demean the fact that the opportunities embedded in this family are also very very intensive. Yes. So let's talk about it. Okay. The opportunities they are quite a lot. Okay. If um if you don't want to farm, mm-hmm. just know. You can buy from us. Okay. You can cook. Okay. You can export. Okay. You can be one. There's one interesting opportunity I yeah. found during the Corona period, which is the worship. Okay. Yes, we got choked up with um the on my on my snail, um the se- yeah the section of my small farm we have five workers. Okay. And we noticed we couldn't catch up with the worship. So somebody just came and said, Come, oh, let us be washing this thing for you. And I'll give you business. Wow. And I said, Look, this is another Angle, aspect yeah. of and they will wash 20 pieces for 200 naira. Wow. Yeah. So it's a game of strength. And if you do it every day, if you wash 500 in a day, you get 5,000 naira. So wow. that is a good aspect. Then there's something called the snow shells. They use it for calcium. You wash it thoroughly, you know, you put it in the you sun dry it every day, then use a solid grinder to, to grind, to grind it. Powder. That is a good calcium. Some um, poultry farmers mm-hmm. use it okay. for their feed. Okay. We also we use it for um, all the plants and we use it for um, cucumbers. Um, wow. so yeah, we use it for watermelons and fighting for things like for planting them calcium. And then um, what else? The the major one now that is giving the buzz is the export. Mm, we can say that again. Yes, that's the, where the big deal is coming that's from. That's where right? the big deal is coming from okay. right now. And um, I haven't delved my head into it. Okay. Because if you're rushing the push yeah. So that's a huge opportunity that our company is looking to go into. But uh, I think we're restricted with NAFTA so how have you been going about marketing marketing of the the snail business the whole marketing stuff how does it look like because it's one thing to wear it's one thing to farm the snail and um one thing to package that's 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 a department on its own yes it's a department now when you are done packaging how do i sell them okay um I call myself, I pride myself on saying I'm Yalaji. Okay. I. What does that mean, please? Yalaji. Yalaji. What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> like a market woman. Oh, wow. Yes, I can convince you. Wow. Yes. So, um, my major market is door to door. Okay. Yes. You know, we have a store. My parents have um, their offices at uh, the Quarter Shopping Complex. You can okay. see it on most of us. Okay. So my mom is on front. So sometimes I just sit down there and say, okay, look, this is what I'm selling. Or I go to, I don't do supermarkets. You can't go my mom for getting this. <laughs> so, but what we do, okay. we go to estates, okay. estate management, talk to them and say, look, we're selling something. We're selling potatoes. Bring, up, bring us the potato. Mm-hmm. And if we have work, we okay. give them a discount. I don't sell to market women. I don't sell to supermarkets. Mm-hmm. So it has to be dot to dot. That's the only way you can get. It's tedious. Yeah. It's very tedious because normally it's easy to just take ten thousand snails and give to yeah. one person. So, so you just choose a part that is convenient. For yes. You. Yes. We choose a part which is convenient, which is end users. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, we did so well and so far on the show, but let's take a short break and when we we'll come back, Dune Muller is still on set with us. Don't go away. Here at Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange, also known as LCFA, our vision is to transform the Nigerian commodities market and redefine practice standards. 
Let us commodities and futures industry. Catalyzing economic growth in Nigeria. Through the commodities ecosystem. Agribusiness Weekend, please always watch and keep it locked there. They're doing an amazing job. All right, welcome back. Dunmola is still on set, and this is Agribusiness Weekend show. Now, this is the game part of the show. And like I always say, this is my best part of the show because I want to make sure my guests when they come to the show they have fun okay okay so we have 10 questions hey yeah no yeah. calm down <laughs> you're not gonna be answering I know that would be your first first reaction <laughs> but don't worry you're not gonna be asking the 10 questions you're gonna be answering three questions all right okay so it's on a random note so you just pick a number so we want to give you the freedom to pick from number one to ten any number at all and we give you so let me get your first number Number six. Say parable in your dialect and tell us the meaning. Hi, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Do I know? <laughs> <laughs> in my dialect. Hmm. Now from quarrel of what I don't speak. Okay. okay, should I just... Yes, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, would you <laughs> want to call your friend? <laughs> <laughs> I think I should call it. No, I can't I'm doing 50-50. I can't remember. Um, yeah, and I watch you about movies. I imagine. Wow. Oh, goodness. I still got to be fabulous. Hey, you remember I did. Hey, I'm not drunk. I'm ashamed of myself. I can't remember. I can't. Maybe we'll come back. Okay, we'll have to come back to Alright, let me get your second question. Here. Nine. Number nine. <coughs> Number nine. <coughs> All right. Tell us your best childhood memory. Ah, I never forget. Hmm. Say it all the time. Wow. My dad, every weekend, mm. but there was this particular one. He took us to, um, he told us to come to Abuja. Okay. My dad was an accountant. Okay. So they were having this um, accounting, this accounting, transcript. Printed. So he told us to do the road journey. My mom, he was so beautiful. Oh. Yes, and that was the very first time. We went to Transcom, you know, and then we met um, this politician, Tofa. Okay. Of um, is the NRC then. Okay. Know, was it? I can't remember what it was. So it was a wonderful experience. We still spoke about it. Wow. In New Year, that oh, my dad always made sure that, you know, in his time, he takes us to hotels. But that one, that which I won, was you know, meeting a lot of people. Trees, you'll see my dad in his coat mm -hmm. talking. And you'd be like, That's my dad. Yes, yes. And you know, all <laughs> my twin sister would say, Yes, daddy. And say, No, my daddy, daddy, stop, stop. So it was interesting. Wow, that's I'll never forget it. And that's I replicate amazing. it for my kids too. That's good. That's good. All right, so let's go to your last question. Seven. Number seven. You know, I, I used to ask these questions to my to some of my guests. So um, I want I want you to say your own. We call it tongue twisters. Mm. Now there is this um, the sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. So I want you to say that five times. Please don't make a mistake. Uh, uh, say five times. Yes. Yes. This, wait, did you say the sun? The sun shall soon shine. Ah, I don't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> the second one I don't mess up. The sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. <laughs> 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 Just number two. 
<laughs> All right, thank you very much for coming to the show. Thank You've you been so amazing, I must say. And on behalf of I and the Agri Business Weekend team, we want to give this to you to say thank you for coming. Agri Business Weekend, we love you. Thank you very much, Agri Business. Thanks for having me on that Friday. Thank you so much. Um, your business will continue to grow. Amen. Amen. And oh, hallelujah. Over. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. You so much. Thank you, Joy. Thank, Thank you very you much, Amor. Thank, Thank you for being on set with us. Thank you. All right, this is where we draw the curtain on today's episode of Agribusiness Weekend. Till I come away next time, snail farming could be one of the agribusiness you can venture into. And that is because of the opportunities are embedded in this business. Follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. From I and the Agribusiness Weekend team, we want to say bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.